Okay, so the first pages we're going to produce are not going to be the most exciting, but they are essential. And that's going to be our terms of service, our privacy policy, and our refund policy. Now, you remember a few lectures back where we actually auto-generated the text for those. So this is going to be very, very straightforward. It's just going to be point and click and copy paste, and we'll have those three pages done in no time. So here I am. I basically clicked on the pages link in our online store menu, and I've got the opportunity to here to add a page. So if I click on that, I get what is basically the sort of the standard Shopify format for setting up any uh, page on the site. So we get the opportunity to add in a title, the content of the page itself, obviously, uh, a nice little search engine listing preview. So you get to see what it would look like when it shows up in Google or Bing or Yahoo or whatever, what it's actually going to look like. That doesn't mean, by the way, that it's going to show up. That's a whole different story. But at least you know if it does show up, what it's going to look like. Up here, we have the visibility. Now, this is nice because what it means is that we can make this thing visible straight away or we can hide it. So basically, if we didn't want somebody to see it because we were working on it still, it was still in draft, we could hide it and only us, only us in the admin system could see what was going on. And then when we were ready, we could make it visible. And then we have some templates here, which I'll show you a little bit more once we create the contact page. But right now, what we want to do is therefore is to create the terms of service page. So let's call it terms of service. And let's save it. Right now, you know where that content is, right? Because we spent some time in the settings. So let's click on settings and go to the checkout. Scroll to the bottom and there we have the terms of service. So we just basically copy that. And then let's go back to the online store back to our pages. Now here's our terms of service page that we created. So we can click on that and then we can paste in all of that good stuff from the terms of service. Let me just scroll to the top. Okay. So there it all is all done. If I scroll down a little bit here as well, you'll see how it's auto populated this part, the search engine listing preview showing you exactly what it's going to look like. So all we've got to do then is click on save. And there we have it. That's our terms of service. If we want to see how it looks on the site, then we can click on this view thing up here. And here we go. Looks pretty good, right? Not bad at all. All laid out. Uh, as I say, if you want to read it, go for it. <laughs> but there it is. Those are the terms of service. Now, setting up the other two pages, the, um, the privacy policy, and the refund policy are exactly the same process. So I'm going to go and do that. All right. I'm not going to waste your time by you watching me do it. I don't think that's necessary. And I'll see you in a sec once they are done. All right, guys, I hope you successfully created that refund policy and the, pri the privacy policy uh, and that you're looking at a page like this. So you've now got three pages for your site. So now let's look at adding an about us page.